Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, guys, um, hope everyone is doing well. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, check your other placements, but tarot can resonate in reverse. So flip it, switch it, however it resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate, check your other placements so let's get into this for capricorn that's capricorn's energy please you have the two of swords and the three of swords somebody's making a decision to cut something out because of a heartbreak now they're not in their emotions anymore they're definitely using their head over their heart so if you're dealing with an aries you have the Page of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So I feel like there is a lot of communication here, passionate communication. Both these cards represent communication. So passionate communication here. If you're dealing with a Taurus, you have the Four of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's working on recovering. Or they could be, again, recovering from working too much. Overworked. Or they're wor working on recovering from whatever they're, a broken heart, whatever. Take, take it out, resonates with you. Um, if you're dealing with a Gemini, this is an emperor relationship. You have the Hierophant and the Emperor. If you're dealing with a Cancer, you have the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Cups. There's deception where Cancer is concerned. If you're dealing with a Leo, you have the Eight of Swords and the King of Cups. Someone's very trapped in their head about a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Virgo, you have the Lover's card and the Death card. Um, I feel like there's either a choice, a choice in something, or there's an ending with a soulmate. Or you could have a transformation with a soulmate. Take it how it resonates with you. If you're dealing with a Libra, you have the Two of Wands and the Strength card. I feel like someone needs strength to make a decision here. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, you have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. I feel like there was betrayal, backstabbed. Somebody is, there was an ending here, but it's been a long time coming. So um, you may have, this may have happened a long time ago, betrayal in the past. And now it's, something's coming towards you again. Um, but it was betrayal and then a long time coming. Um, so... I feel like you may have been betrayed by somebody a couple of years ago. There may you may end up seeing this person. They may come back around. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, you have the Ace of Swords and the Eight of Cups. I feel like there's a truth being spoken and somebody walking away. So coming back around to speak a truth. This is also ideas, thoughts. Um, but I feel like you know this person is hearing something and walking away. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, another Capricorn, you have the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. They're back and forth about a family situation. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, you have the Three of Cups and the Two of Cups. I feel like somebody's wish fulfillment or somebody's happiness is their partner. If you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces has the Four of Wands and the Hermit. Somebody is really uh, going within about... Um, a foundation, a celebration, a relationship. Have the tower under the bottom of the deck. So I feel like with your energy, Capricorn, um, you're you're uh, making a decision. So I feel like with that two of swords, you could be at a stalemate. But I feel like with this, it's heartbreak and suffering. And, and you know, it's a decision, a choice, and a stalemate. Whatever, you, whatever you're um, going through at this time, um, you're heartbroken and you've got to make a decision heartbroken. You, you're already in that heartbreak having to make a decision. So let's get into this and find out what is going on for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know, please? 
you have the Hierophant and the Ace of Wands. Um, new passionate beginning in a relationship. There's somebody's justice and somebody's rushing towards them to speak a truth to have justice. And you have the Seven of Wands standing their ground in judgment. Standing their ground in judgment. They're facing their music. Okay? In this case, I feel like this person is standing their ground in judgment. Not to reconcile, but almost like if they did, you're heartbroken. This person's facing the music. Let's, let's see what's going on. You have the seven of cups. And you have the two of cups. You have an opportunity here. Take a leap of faith and find some peace with your two of cups. There is an apology with that page of pentacles and someone's rushing towards you to apologize. Someone's manif... Oh, 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 oh. I feel like You know, I, I just, the, the thought here, manifesting the devil for a new beginning. Almost like I feel like you're ready to sell your soul for this new beginning. But, you know, this is like you're manifesting. I need to get more clarity on that. That's pretty deep. If your deal, uh, the outcome, heartbreak, queen of pentacles, there you are. Capricorn, um, and in you uh, wanting a victory here, you're wanting you're wanting to to win here. Um, you're kind of very guarded and and um, defensive. Okay. So you have the the hair font. Somebody's got regrets in a relationship. Um, there's a lot of communication about having a new passionate beginning, starting over. Somebody's wanting justice. They need the strength to have justice in a situation. They're rushing in to to um, speak this truth. This Knight of Swords is a little self-serving, though. What they bring it could be um, it could be a difficult truth. You know, it's it's a harsh truth. And somebody could be, you know, watching or something they saw. I feel like when this person comes towards you with this harsh truth, it's to tell you that they seen whatever happened. They saw it, right? And and I feel like with the seven of wands, I feel like you're standing your ground in judgment for something long-term and committed. So it could be with somebody from the past. So you may be... I feel like you're having to own what you've done. That's what you're standing in judgment with the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So for something long-term and committed with somebody from the past, you are, um, you're facing the music here. You're, you're having some regrets. You're communicating your regret here. And this was a relationship with a new passionate beginning. You regret what you've done. And I feel like this person... Um, there's an opportunity here um, to reconcile. There's an opportunity to reconcile with the Two of Cups and have a victory to make it work, um, to take that leap of faith to a new beginning in love um, and find some patience and balance. Could be dealing with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. But I feel like um, there, this person's apologizing to you about the option or whatever, whatever happened. They're apologizing to you for this option. And I feel like whatever this is, this could be um, that they were acting like a player. Um, and, and not, t they're not speaking. They're not speaking to this option. This person's rushing towards you to apologize, but they're not speaking to this other person. So it was whatever this is, this person um, did it and they were, they were um, gone like the wind. They were there for a good time, not a long time, they were out. And so they're no longer speaking to the option. They want to come clean, but somebody saw it and somebody spoke up. 
manifesting the devil for a new beginning okay divine timings at play somebody wants justice here karmic justice that's karmic justice right there fate and justice is karmic justice right for the queen of pentacles so I feel like with this person, I don't want to say that they're 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 manifesting what whatever this was. They could be obsessed with having a new beginning, um, and they're manifesting it. But it's almost like you're it's almost like you're ready to. Yeah, so I feel like your person may have been with a cancer pisces or a scorpio king of wands he's apologizing because of the queen of cups karmic justice for the for you capricorn you're the one getting the karmic justice i feel like with this king of wands queen of cups there's an apology somebody seeing something from a different perspective and now this is this is an argument or a fight with that and they're looking back at past mistakes. This person knows what they did was wrong. And they know that they hurt somebody because your energy was making a decision to cut something out because of a broken heart, right? So you have that three of swords, broken hearted queen of pentacles, wanting the victory here, right? This is a relationship you're trapped in your head about wanting the truth. And somebody's rushing towards you, manifesting betrayal. The end okay so they're there i feel like this person's manifesting that this all end and stop right so that they can reconcile this broken heart they're waiting obsessed with their wish fulfillment deception is blocked okay so i feel like in this case um this person they're obsessed with having this new beginning. They're obsessed with starting over. Um, I feel like you are still at a crossroads or not even at a crossroads. You're making a head over heart decision to cut something out because of betrayal or heartbreak. And you still feel this way. This You want a victory. You do want the victory. But this relationship you're trapped in your head about starting anew. Uh, somebody's rushing in. They're manifesting that the betrayal end. Um, so it's like it's almost like this person says, I'll never do it again. I promise you I'll never do it again. Um, their regrets, right? I feel like unavailable. They weren't giving to you like you deserved. And it's something they retreated. But I feel like there could be a recommitment here. It could develop. And healing is under the bottom of the deck. So um, that's a possibility. Um, you still have that decision to make. Whether or not you're going back in this case Capricorn. Awakened, guided for patience. And the answer is yes. So you may go back. Your action may be yes. This person's going to fight for you. They're ready to fight for you. You know, finding, what are they finding? They're finding their prosperity in a family situation, inspiration. This person and their happiness and their happiness and inspiration is in their family. You know, I wish people would think things through before they destroy other people's emotion. You know, that's just, you don't realize how a fling can harm so much. But um, guys, that's all I have for you. If that resonates for you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful week.